Well, good morning. Well, good morning. The comment appeared Friday on Facebook, and it blew up immediately, proving once again, I guess, that uh, leaving no thought unexpressed on social media is almost always a dangerous move, especially when it breaks the unwritten rule that a president's children are off limits. Congratulations. The White House turkey pardoning ceremony is a quaint Washington tradition, and judging by the body language of 16-year-old Malia and 13-year-old Sasha, you guys want a <laughs> they were pretty much over it. But in this highly polarized town, even that teenage reaction got caught up in partisanship. Elizabeth Loughton, communications director for Tennessee Republican Stephen Fincher, went after the first daughters on Facebook. Try showing a little class. Act like being in the White House matters to you. Dress like you deserve respect, not a spot at the bar. And certainly don't make faces during televised public events. The reaction to Loughton's post was unforgiving. Historian Doug Weed wrote a book on children raised in the White House. Whatever your differences with President Obama, uh, you can't lay a glove on either the president or the first lady as parents. They've been absolutely great parents. How are you? Over the years, the privacy of first children is generally respected, but there have been exceptions. Remember when George W. Bush's daughters, Barbara and Jenna, got in trouble for underage drinking when they were college students? One writer faulted the Bush's parenting skills and asked if there might be a connection to their father's past drinking problem. Chelsea Clinton's awkward teenage appearance was once a punchline in a Wayne's World sketch. Senator John McCain even joked that she looked that way because then Attorney General Janet Reno was really her father. And Jimmy Carter's daughter Amy was criticized for reading a book during a state dinner in 1977. She was nine years old at the time. The child can't really choose who their parents are, and to throw this burden on them, I think is universally accepted that it's unfair. Elizabeth Lawton, the author of that Facebook post about the Obama daughters, had second thoughts a few hours later. She posted an apology saying that she had judged them in a way that she would never have wanted to be judged as a teenager. The White House isn't talking. Mm -hmm. Probably won't, Bill. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's just unfortunate, one, to criticize somebody else's kid just, just in general, right? Yes. Whether you're in the White House or not. And then this is just part of our coarsening dialogue about treating other people with respect. And the other thing is, Bill made the point about the president, or the other guy did, who's a historian. Uh, this has really been a, a really a remarkable family yes. in terms of yes. everything that we know yes. about them as a family unit, not yeah. as a political unit. Right. Yeah. And I love the, 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 the point he made that they've been excellent parents, and anybody who's met the Obama girls says that they are so normal and so great. But what, what really gets me is that this woman is a communications director. I think she might have missed a class or two. Yeah, yeah. And it should be said, too, the, the Bushes were, were